Hi everyone, I'm Renee and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a beautiful cake design to share with you. I'm gonna show you how I made this beautiful marble and geometric pattern cake. It's got a lot of modern trends going on and it's actually pretty simple to make. I'm gonna show you how I did it, so let's get started. So I'm starting with the bottom tier and that's the one that has the marbled fondant. I'm working with cake dummies today just so that I can hang on to this cake when it's done and have something to decorate my cake studio with, but it works just as well with regular cake. So to make the marbled fondant, I'm starting with a large piece of white fondant that is large enough to cover my seven inch round tier. This is seven inches round by five inches tall. And then to marble it, I'm using a little bit of a baby pink and some gray. And I got this gray by using an Americolor. It's a new color called Stone, and they came out with some really beautiful grays, which can be a really difficult shade to achieve. So I'm gonna make the white fondant into sort of a log shape, and then I'm gonna roll the gray and the pink into logs as well and attach those. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just gonna mix this all together anyway. I'll give it a twist and then fold it in on itself and knead it slightly. We don't wanna overmix this because we want to be able to see the different colors in the final effect. So after I've twisted and folded and kneaded slightly, I'm going to roll this piece out and then I can check both sides to see which one is getting the better marble pattern. And then when I pick which side, I'm gonna to continue to roll it out thin enough to cover my cake with. Now working with a cake dummy, I have covered this with shortening. If you're using a crusting buttercream, you'd want to spray that with a little bit of water to make it sticky. And if you're using a Swiss meringue buttercream, you just want it to be chilled, fresh out of the refrigerator to work with. I covered the tear, smoothed it down, and I used an edger to try and get some nice sharp edges on there. And then trim off the excess. I wanna add a little bit of metallic accent to this bottom tier so it ties in with the top tier, which will be covered in baby pink and accented with a metallic geometric pattern. So I'm using a metallic edible paint, and this one is by Rainbow Dust, and it's the dark gold, which is actually kind of a copper color. It's a great product to work with. It's beautifully metallic, and it is edible, but it is a little bit thick, so I like to put a little bit into a dish and thin it with some vodka. Once my metallic paint is ready to work with, I'm just gonna go through and look at the veining that I've already created in the marbled fondant. And I'll pick a line and then just paint slightly a little bit of that metallic next to the lines. And by following those lines, it looks like the gold is kind of in the marble. You wanna use a very light touch and kind of feather it out on the edges so you don't have any harsh lines. Once you're done adding those metallic accents, this tier is done. I've already covered my top tier with that baby pink fondant, and this is a five inch round by four inches tall. Now I want to mark off the top tier so I know exactly where to place the strips for my geometric design. I cheat this a little bit. I have a sheet of parchment that is as tall as my cake and fits around the circumference of the tier. And then I'm gonna fold this in half and half again until I have a little bit larger than one inch strips and that will be perfect for this design. I'm also gonna fold this strip in half to mark a center line and then I'm gonna measure and fold up from the bottom and down from the top about half an inch and this is gonna help me with the placement for my strips. Now that I have all those folds in place, I can wrap the parchment back around the tier and use a needle tool. You could use a toothpick or a pin, and I'm just going to mark each of those cross points, and this is gonna help me map out the design. 
For the design, I'm cutting strips from some gold colored fondant and I'm using a gem strip cutter and this is the number three which creates strips that are about one quarter inch wide. And to go around the center, I'm going to roll out a long strip and then cut that until that's about a quarter inch wide. Then it helps to roll that up and that will help give you a nice smaller piece to work with. I'll use water to attach this and just brush that on going around the center of the cake where all of those little holes are marked. Then roll on that center strip all the way around and trim up the ends so they're nice and neat. Now we can start placing the other strips for the design and I'm going to start with the vertical strips. So I'm just going to brush on some water so it'll stick above the center line and below the center line. Then I can add the strip and make sure it's tacked down and use an X-Acto knife to trim both the top and the bottom so they're right above those holes that were marked. And then trim the center so it's nice and neat so we don't have a big bulk of fondant building up there. Go all the way around with those vertical strips, cutting and trimming. And then we can start adding the diagonals to create this triangle pattern. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna use a little bit of water brushed on so that the strips will stick, place the strip, and then use my X-Acto knife to trim them perfectly to size. Now that all of those gold strips are on and I have let those dry a bit, I'm going to paint them with that same metallic dark gold paint to bring that metallic accent to the top tier. Both the top and bottom tiers are done and that was so easy. So now I'm gonna use a little bit of royal icing to attach my bottom cake to a cake board. And then to attach the top tier to the bottom tier, I'll just use a little bit of royal icing there as well. This cake is so beautiful on its own, I don't wanna add any ornate border to it. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of white royal icing in a bag with the tip snipped to a very small opening, fit it right at the base of the cake and just pipe a thin line of royal icing all the way around. Then using clean hands, I'm gonna use my pinky finger just to kind of push that into place and smooth it out. If you're opposed to using your finger on the cake, you can just use a damp paintbrush. That works pretty well as well. And I'm gonna do the same for the top tier. I just wanna erase that seam so it looks like a nice seamless cake. I'm just gonna use the white royal icing again because that kind of blends in with the bottom tier and smooth that out. And then the cake is ready for any final embellishing. I'm just gonna add one little gardenia with a few rose leaves that I just have left over from another project and I think this cake is done and it's so beautiful. And that's it, this cake design is done and I think it came out so beautifully. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos and if you click the bell icon then you can turn on post notifications to be notified every time I upload.